So this gives me a whole new respect for Queen Elizabeth. I never knew that she would dub a sex worker a dame. That's equivalent to a knight. So you're, if you're dubbed a knight, it's like you're honored for, you know, the um, whatever it is, rights or that you fought for. Um, but yeah, she was dubbed by the queen. Uh, so it's Queen Elizabeth. That's the older lady in London, I believe. Yeah. So she made the, the sex worker, her name's uh, uh, Ka Kathleen uh, Harley, Haley? No, Haley. Kathleen Haley. She's a, a, a sex worker rights. Um, she stands for, you know, sex worker rights. She was also a sex worker herself in New Zealand. And yeah, this just gives me a whole new perspective and ideas about, you know, the royal family. I'm, I'm hoping that the U.S. could get a, a clue from this and that people would start having more respect for sex work, sex workers. So Kathleen, she's a well-known human rights, sex worker rights um, organizer and protester in, in New Zealand, which they decriminalized, they fully decriminalized sex work way back about 15 years ago. It actually went to court and it won by just one vote only. Can you believe that? So yeah, sex work in New Zealand has been decriminalized since uh, 03, about 15 years now. And Kathleen um, Haley, she's, I think she's like in her 60s or 70s now. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure she was able, after they decriminalized, she was able to retire because, you know, she no longer had to worry about being arrested or being arrested and um, having to pay, you know, attorneys and fines and fees and having to turn down clients. So when you're able to work in an environment that welcomes you, that decriminalizes you, that doesn't threaten you with arrest or fines, you know, in an environment like that, you're able to retire, you know, so she's really lucky that they decriminalized because now she's retired and she's probably, you know, living a really good life. Um, I'm sure. And I mean, otherwise, you know, she, I don't know. I don't want to say, but you know, a lot of, a lot of sex workers, they don't have such good lives because they start out homeless and, and they just kind of have to survive. It's kind of like living hand to mouth. And, um, yeah, but I really don't want to talk about the criminalization, what it does, how it makes people poor. Um, it does. And I wanted to make this a positive video, but yeah, it's, it's sad because even though I love my work, I, I realize that under the criminalization scheme that I can never retire um, because I don't make enough money to if now, if it was decriminalized, Oh, Man, you know how much money I turn down every day? Like, it's, I, lo I lose count, but call after call after call after call after call after call. Sometimes my phone never stops ringing, but I would say it takes about 30 calls before I can get one call where I can actually screen them and get references because most guys, they don't, they don't get it. They don't, they don't get the concept of screening. They don't understand that I have to get information from them. There's certain information I must get from them, even if it's just their real name, you know, and their real address. If it's just that, then fine. I'm not worried about clients. I'm worried about, you know, the cops because they will have sex with you. They will do all kinds of stuff and then, and then arrest you and they can, it's like your word against theirs. You know, they kidnap you, they take you away in handcuffs, they put you in, in a cage. It's traumatizing. They, they pull guns on you. It's traumatizing. 
And it, I'm, I'm traumatized every day when I can't get screening information from people. In the back of my head, I'm thinking, was this guy a cop? Or I'm thinking, I just lost a bunch of money today because I had to turn down 20 or 30 calls to get to that one call that actually I could screen. So here I am answering the phone all day, you know, and losing money right, left, and center. And then finally I might get one real good call and that's it. And then that's all the money I make, which is like peanuts compared to what I could make in New Zealand. I know because I worked in New Zealand and I know how much I could make there. And I can tell you right now, probably in about three years I could retire and I could retire really well and I could you know, invest in, in rental properties or something like that. That's what I'd like to do. Now, if, I, if they ever decriminalize here, probably not, because who's it going to benefit? You know, it would only benefit the government if they had some kind of legalization scheme where they could, you know, regulate us to a point where we are criminalized if we don't follow their strict guidelines, which is bullshit, because a lot of sex workers, like I say, are, are just really poor and they can't afford things like licenses and, you know, and, and rent, rent certain in certain areas or work for a certain brothel. You know, some people just don't make that much money. Um, there's all sex workers come in all shapes and sizes and, and, you know, and some just don't do so well, so they can only work independently or on the street because they, otherwise they wouldn't make no money in a brothel. Um, I think it's it's cruel to to make sex work only for the privileged, only for people that are a certain class and only if they work in a brothel. I think that's very cruel because then it leaves out the, you know, a good 60, 50 or 60 percent of the other population that can't for whatever reason. But yeah, wow, she was dubbed a dame. That's like a high honor. I hope Trump gets a clue from this. Oh, and by the way, that stupid FOSTA sister, <laughs> it's a joke. I'm busier now than ever. The only problem is screening. I'm still stuck on screening. I'm traumatized to a point of being stupid. I've all admit I'm traumatized by police to a point of being so stupid. I can't take a chance. No matter how nice someone sounds, I just can't take that chance because even cops can sound nice and I need to know who the person is. And unfortunately, again, one call out of 30, that's about it. So yeah, I'll never be able to retire at this rate. Take care.